Hey, it's Pastor Dan from Dexter Gospel Church. Appreciate you watching this Proverbs Practical. Uh, today's proverb gives a sobering observation about our speech. We're in Proverbs 29, verse 11. It says, A fool utters all his mind, but a wise man keeps it in till afterwards. Oh, this is a sobering verse whenever I'm tempted to spout off, to give people a piece of my mind, to justify my impulsiveness by saying that I'm just speaking my mind or being real, or even to include everything in a sermon that I think is worth saying. It's the fool who thinks that everything he thinks is worth saying. It's foolish to think that the moment we think of something is the moment we have to say it. It's folly to believe that we have to address every situation immediately, that we have to speak up in the moment. So often the best thing we can say is nothing. This is why James in the New Testament tells us that while we should be swift to hear, we should be slow to speak and slow to wrath. And the wording used here in Proverbs 29.11 also seems to imply not just thoughts and words, but emotion and particularly anger. That is, the fool, when he is angry, he utters all his mind. He has no check upon that anger. He spouts off exactly what he is thinking and feeling instead of restraining himself, calming himself, finding perspective, getting understanding, and coming back when he can think and speak clearly, calmly, gently, mildly. How many times have you had a conversation then thought of something you should have said hours later? Would it have been better to wait until after you thought what you should have set up and then started to talk? How many times have we said something in the heat of the moment that got us in trouble, when if we could have had much more peaceable lives or more successful resolutions to situations if we'd cooled off first and then spoken? How many times have we blown some interaction because we didn't really understand where the other person was coming from, didn't have their perspective, or were missing some vital piece of information we only found out later? It's a sort of arrogance to think that our thoughts are always worth sharing, that our first impression is the right one, that our immediate conclusions are definitely accurate. Most of the time, none of that is true. Most of the time, our reaction in the heat of the moment isn't just lacking, it's wrong in some way. We're better off not saying it. If we speak all our mind, they'll realize just how little there is there. The old saying is, it's better to close your mouth and be thought a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. The wise will wait. Now, it's not that they don't resolve conflict when they have the opportunity. It's that they're going to refuse to speak until they've had a chance to think it through, what they should say and how they should say it. They're going to try to get all the facts and perspectives before they make pronouncements. They're going to try to understand the issue before they address it. If we must choose a risk, it's almost always better to risk waiting too long to speak than to risk speaking too soon. The wise will hold his words until his anger is past, and he's not going to allow that to linger. Remember that the sun shouldn't go down on our wrath. This is no excuse for not having the courage to speak when we do know what should be said and how it ought to be said. But too often, impatience and anger tries to masquerade as courage and boldness. And all that does is reveal who is a fool. So maybe next time we're tempted to share everything that's on our minds, we should slow down, cool off, hold it in until after everything else has been said and done, and we have the whole story and can speak with the most complete knowledge. Then we'll demonstrate wisdom. I know we live in a hot take world, when everyone feels obligated to say something about every big issue that pops up as soon as it happens. But cool heads are always better than hot takes. I hope this video is a help to you. If so, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't uh, already, subscribe to our channel for more insight from the scriptures. Until next time, I hope you stay well and be slow to speak.